Hey everybody, it's uh, Daddy Thanos YT. Usually I don't make these type of videos, but I thought I'd share this with you and uh, I've been really interested in this and just getting new hobbies and stuff. But if you do see cuts in the video, just know it's because screen recording on my phone can only go up to like a minute and 30 per video. So there will be some cuts, just know that. Anyways, recently I've been getting into a lot of uh, number or coding uh, shortwave stations that are still active from the Cold War and times even before that. I mean, these have been going on since World War I, but I'm specifically based or specifically based on this one called UVB-76. It's a Russian broadcast that's been up since 1979, and uh, people say it's shut down and... Um, it's not working anymore, but no, it's it's still broadcasting, and you can actually search up the place. The place is completely abandoned, but for some reason, it is still up. Also, if you guys want more videos like this or like these type of videos, I will post more. Just comment down below, or uh, you guys can text me on my social medias. And yeah, another one is HM01 that I want to talk about later. But, um, so, uh... Yeah, I, I can put out some theories and stuff I know about this station that some YouTube videos have not uploaded, and I can uh, upload what I think uh, later on. But yeah, um, let's get into it. So today, while I was in school, I was thinking about UVB76 and just doing my own coding. Uh, I do my own coding as in numbered alphabet, military, and Morris that I like to share with my friends, and we have fun in class doing it, but... You know, it's it's kind of cool to know. But uh, while I'm in school, I like to listen to this just to see if there's any weird things that go on. Because sometimes at around 3 o'clock or 3.30 p.m., uh, I'm just going to say Minnesota time because I don't know if it's Eastern or Middle Eastern. But, uh, yeah, I live in Minnesota, so, yeah. Um, anyways, I wanted to uh, show you guys, while I was in school, this frequency or the way it sounds has been changing all the time so uh i started listening to it around nine o'clock but i will show you um where it was last night and yeah you see these big splotches right here let's let's look at this that could be he could have some bad signal humans. So yeah, it's been changing all day. And this, it's weird because it runs from a machine, like an old World War II radio transmission machine. Sorry, there's noise in the background. It's my family. But it runs from an old World War II radio machine that they would use to send, you know, codes or messages to from the fields. And they sound exactly like compared to this machine, the buzzer. It sounds exactly like this thing's been running since 1979. It should be shut down. It should be overheated, broken. But the scary part is, is that it's actually coming off a microphone from a system. So that's the creepy part. That's what I don't like about it. This is what is disturbing about it. It's scary that <laughs> 1979, this thing's coming from a microphone and a machine. You can actually search up where this place is at in Russia, and the place is completely abandoned. It's completely, the grounds are all water, the radio stuff is completely gone. There's some left, but it's just old technology, rotted, rusted, and it's not pre-recorded. They're not running on a record machine. This is shortwave radio transmissions. This is bouncing off the atmosphere in into people's radios that use shortwave, and it's just... Oh, man, it's crazy. It's kind of fascinating, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna show you this weird stuff that's been happening with it. So I don't know if I already said, but I was at school and I tuned into this around nine a.m. and this is what it uh sounded like. That's its normal sound. That's usually how it's supposed to sound um, all the time. That's its normal broadcast. That's usually how it sounds. That's usually how it buzzes. 
Well, I'm moving to my next class, and uh, I don't go on it till about later, probably an hour and a half later. And I check on it, and it's a higher frequency. And it seems to be a little lower, a little slower, a little heavier. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's the dude's transmission. Maybe he's getting better transmission. This is like the perfect sound for him. So I was like, oh, maybe he's getting better transmissions. Maybe he or she, sorry. He's getting better transmissions. Who knows? So I was like, oh, it's just the broadcast. Well, I tune into it a couple hours later. I kind of forget about it. So I tune into it around 1130, almost 12. That's what it sounds like. Usually it's like a... It goes a little longer. Sounds a little more rattly. This one sounds like a, a radar. And if you guys... If you guys didn't know, this thing back in 19... Kind of 81, 18... You know, or 1989. There's recordings of this station sounding like a radar. It used to go boop, boop, boop. Like how the old radars on like submarine sound... This is how it used to sound. And it started sounding really weird, not like a radar, but... Like that. Like some perfect kind of muffled... Man. <laughs> but yeah. So I tuned back into it, probably around after lunch, and I noticed... The thing is completely dead. It's like it's out of juice. It's stopped. You can't, you can't even hear it. Well, bring it up a little. Signal starts coming back. And yeah, this, the stream resets every once in a while. The signal starts coming back around here. This is when I was in math class. I started listening to it again. And it's lower. It sounds like it's like getting overheated. It's exhausted is what it sounds like. Well, you know me, I'm curious, so it's getting close to the end of the day, and I tune back into it around here. The broadcast is still just kind of on its last legs. It's you know, short, but it's it sounds faster, like it's regenerating. So I go up, you know, I wait a little longer, and then boom. Higher pitched. It's faster, it's back to this rattling sound, and I'm just, I'm confused, I'm wondering what's going on. So, I bring it up a little more later in the day. It's higher, it's even higher than before, and it's supposed to be lower. And let's bring it up just a little more. It's even higher I look at the radio some more I go to my current time it's it's getting even higher it sounds faster let's get to our current time it's still a little high it sounds a little bit lower but it's still high but anyways, I thought I'd share with you the activity that's been going through and how it's been changing. You know, it's it it sounded like it literally died in the middle of the day. Like it started just shutting down. And it came back and it's even louder, it's even higher. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. But there's no telegram, no code or anything today, but maybe tomorrow. Um But the thing about this station what's so creepy about it is the buzzing and if you guys don't know there's a world war ii like i said earlier it buzzes and those things barely even work you need like extra expensive equipment yeah i i don't know honestly what my friends think is that the russians or somebody is using it to distract other you know code breakers from looking at other stations so I think they use the buzzer station. But if it's been going on for so long, and, you know, it's been up since 1979 and it sounded way different back then, maybe, you know, maybe they just, oh, this is an old station they use, let's just use it up, distract them. But honestly, my theory is somebody is behind this. 
there's probably like a secret bunker at that place or something. Just a door that you need a key card to get into. I don't even know. And honestly, another friend of mine, even my teacher said close to the same thing. This could have been, you know, a base that got raided and they just left the radio going. Somehow this thing is still alive. And, you know, they just, I don't know, they got raided, left the radio going. Uh, well, they had like a pre-recorded code and it just plays every once in a while. I don't know. It's really creepy. Some people even say that it's paranormal because I know there's some paranormal machines that use shortwave radios to connect with the dead. And so, you know, I believe in ghosts. <laughs> so I, I will believe that. But it's just, it's fascinating. And if you guys want me to get more into it or you have more thoughts about it, just let me know down in the comments or, you know, as for my social medias. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys are having a wonderful day, wonderful night. Who knows what you're doing right now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, means a lot when you guys watch these, so. Yeah, let me know what you think. Bye. But also, I forgot to tell you that, uh, there are whispers. You can hear people whispering. There's banging and crashes in the background, like how Relics of Legends just said um but also it could be the atmosphere making the banging and crashing and stuff and the <sighs> but there are whispers there are lady whispers i hear them every once in a while sometimes there's men but also um you can hear whispered numbers around noon uh for you know in minnesota i'm just gonna say minnesota around noon you can hear uh whispered numbers i heard a four eight six in their english at first, I thought maybe it was just interfering with another short uh, wave radio station, but it started uh, getting a little cut out during each buzz, so it could be possible that it is. But again, this is the Russians, so maybe there, maybe it's another uh, station coding back to them. Who knows? But uh, yeah.